Hello folks, well I'm beyond excited today. Uh, welcome back to Camping Astronomer HQ here. Um, well at the moment, over the last few days, Mars has been making its uh, very close approach to Earth. And tonight it's clear, and this is the closest we're going to get for another 15 years or so I think. So I shall be out with my Celestron Nexstar 127 SLT set up tonight in an attempt to get a photograph of Mars. I've had a few goes at Mars in the past and been distinctly unsuccessful. Uh, a lot of the time it's because the planet has been really low on the horizon, whereas now it's actually um, getting up to a sort of sensible height where I'm not shooting through too much atmosphere. And the last opportunity that I had to uh, take a picture of Mars was I think two years ago and I blew that one because I completely overexposed the uh, section of filming that I was doing on it and one, once you overexpose it's simply not possible to get the details back out of it um, so I just ended up with an orange blob at the end of the day Mars is quite small so for my setup here um, yeah, it's probably about the smallest sort of planet that I could hope to get any detail out of um, but nonetheless, we're going to have a go today and see what happens. So with a bit of luck, if it does clear, it's cloudy at the minute I see, but if it does clear like they suggest, I shall be bringing you back later on. So uh, yeah, fingers crossed for that and see you later. My name's John. I make videos on camping, astronomy and walking for my YouTube channel, The Camping Astronomer. If you enjoy today's video, then please check my channel out. You might find something that interests you there. But in the meantime, let's crack on with today's video. And there's Mars now, nicely above the tree line and the roof line. After setting up the telescope, I did a little bit of visual astronomy because it's always really nice to do that. And to give you an idea, Mars at 150 times magnification is about the size of a pea at 2 metres distance. Now I switch to a planetary camera and try and get my exposure time and gain sorted out uh, which was quite difficult because the clouds kept coming over and Mars kept disappearing just as here. Eventually it did clear and I managed to get a decent video stream and here you can see some of the surface detail. Uh, showing on the live video of Mars appearing on my computer screen. Okay, I've got about 5,000, 6,000 frames on her at the moment, so I've had a little clear spell for five minutes or so. So I'm hoping that that particular video run will be enough to get me the result that I want. So I'm going to pack it in now and do a bit of visual. It's 1am now, so that's time to go in and go to bed. Well, welcome back. It's now the following morning. I only had about five hours sleep last night, so I'm a bit knackered today. And tonight I'm going off on a wild camp, so um, it's going to be a busy little time for me. Uh, anyway, I've processed my little section of video from yesterday and managed to get a picture of Mars uh, which is a lot better than anything I've ever got before. This is my fourth go at it over the years. Um, this time round we've been able to see some surface detail and been able to see the polar ice cap on the, the southern pole. Mars itself is, uh, as I mentioned earlier, really, really small. Uh, visually, 150 times magnification, it's about the size of a pea held at two metres distance. It's got an apparent diameter of half that of Jupiter and therefore a quarter of the surface area. 
So Jupiter's much, much easier to get detail out of. Um, the picture that I've got, I can probably improve on, but with difficulty, uh, given that this is the closest approach that Mars is going to make for 15 years or so. Um, but yeah, I'm reasonably happy with it. Not over the moon, but reasonably happy. So I'll share that at the end. I hope you've enjoyed this video and um, the camping trip that I'm off to do tonight you will see about a week after this video gets loaded up. So I shall see you next time. Cheerio. Well, I hope you found that video uh, enjoyable. Uh, if you did, it would be great if you could press the like button and maybe make some comments about what you did or didn't like in the comments section below. Uh, if you did enjoy it though, uh, maybe have a look at the other videos on my channel as you may find something of interest to you there. And if so, it would be absolutely fantastic if you could subscribe. That would really help me out. Uh, but in the meantime, I wish you well and cheerio until next time.